it's going to take another year. They, they WB will be like, yes, sir. And they'll just kind of bow out. So we'll see. And that's rumor out of for the week. Let's start the show. Now, of course, there was a PlayStation State of Play. That's actually why I had to record it a little later. Uh, is to kind of watch that, ingest it, and then report a little bit on it. I'll have a breakdown here. Let's start. Five PSVR games are shown. The Fog Lands by Well Toad Entertainment. Green Hell by Creepy Jar. Synapsis by In Dreams. Journey to Foundation by Architect. I think it's actually Arch Act. Arch Act. Arch Act. It's a strange name. And Before Your Eyes by Goodbye World Games. Uh, and um, Before Your Eyes is coming March 10th. All games, I believe, uh, if I caught everything right, are coming this year, specifically. Um, all looked cool, uh, but not enough for me to buy this game. Before Your Eyes specifically seems very good. Uh, it seems like it will be messing with you blinking as the new PSVR 2 has eye tracking, so it knows when you blink. So like, it seems like every time you blink, a scene changes. So like, you have to keep your eyes open as long as you can to see the scenes go by before you blink and change the scene. We'll have to see. That's it. It seemed cool. It, again, PSVR 2. No, I'm a broken record. I'm not buying this thing until it actually has games on it. Followed by that, Destiny 2 Lightfall showed a launch trailer. Of course, this is coming February 28th. It looked cool. If you don't know Destiny, that looked like probably a bunch of Star Wars nonsense. Um, uh, don't go. I, I would say I watched it and was like, wow, if you had no idea what was going on, you might think that might take place in space or something. Uh, you will not be in space. There are no space aspects to this game. We will just be at a, uh, uh, a neon city on uh, Neptune. Um, so, you know, don't go crazy. Oh, Neo Muna, I'm very excited. But uh, and I do think it's going to be very good. I do think we're getting Witch Queen esque quality with this title. The problem is um and i actually talked about this when witch cream came out hard to recommend this hard to recommend this to a person who's never played destiny or maybe if, if you're fine knowing like you're coming into a brand new expansion again and like you'll be kind of confused come in because the gameplay is solid but if you're coming in like oh i wish i want a, new, a good story i'm like Ugh. i imagine you'll be confused but maybe you won't i don't know february 28th Tachia? I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, it's the next game up. It reminds me of the Chia plants. I don't know if anyone actually remembers that uh, infomercial. But Tachia, I literally just can't not think of ch, -ch, -ch, -ch -chia. All right? I can't. So if you're going to name your game that, maybe name it something else. Buy a wack a wack whip, I believe is how you pronounce it. I, I, I'm sure I butchered the developer's names. I apologize. It's coming out March 21st. Looks very good. I'm kind of excited for this game. And um, a bonus. Uh, it's coming to PlayStation Plus in March. So if you have PlayStation Plus, I'm um, sorry, uh, it's coming to PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium specifically, um, I believe. I'll have to actually double check that. I believe it is. She, uh, let me double check before I tell you guys something wrong. I believe it was only Extra and Premium, similar to um, another game that did this. Let me double check. I think you guys can hear that. I just need this. Steve, is it coming to? That's not telling me. Mm, there we go. Should be right here. Coming to play. Yeah, extra and premium. I just needed to make sure on that. It's not coming to essential. So if you just have the base PlayStation Plus, you will not be receiving the game. You would have to upgrade it for that month if you want to play it. I'm excited. I don't know if I'm excited enough to buy it. Maybe I'll upgrade for a month because I am on Essential right now. Maybe I'll upgrade for that month and then play. Oh, uh, they also announced alongside that Battlefield 2042 Minecraft Dungeons and Code Vein. Very interesting with a couple of these things. First off, Battlefield 2042. Surprise, you went and grabbed that. Not in the best light right now as it's a pretty mediocre game. Minecraft Dungeons, meaning that at some point they had to ask Microsoft this. And timeline should be correct unless they literally signed this, I mean, a year and a half ago, which I doubt it. Maybe they did. And I, and I just am ignorant of these things. But in the last few months, they signed on Minecraft Dungeons to be on PS Plus. While they were fighting legally. Now, that seems too hard to believe. So I have to imagine it happened before. Because they are saying things to each other that is wiping 
partnerships for the future. I, I imagine maybe maybe it's all in the name of business and they don't see it that way. And uh, again, maybe I'm ignorant to this and they actually had this probably signed on a year and a half ago or maybe when the game launched. So it, technically it would have been before, but. And no way it was launched because that the game came out quite a bit ago. So I can't see that happening. I don't know if anyone thinks they have insight on this. Let me know. Comments below. Or Twitter. Oh, and Code Bane. I don't know if I said that. Code Bane is also coming. Very good game. Um, I never played it, but I have heard great things. Humanity by Enhanced Studios coming May, coming in May. Looks very strange. Almost looks like a um. Uh, not to offend Enhanced. Looks very tech demo-y. Looks good. It just looks very tech demo-y. It looks like you play as this kind of creature in a form of a dog made of light, and you're directing humanity um, to do something. I don't know. Um, it seemed very basic, but it looked good. They're saying so you made Tetris effect, I believe. Goodbye Vol by Volcano Highs up next by KOOP. This is coming June 15th. Looks very good. I'm very interested. I will say... The trailer did not excite me very much. I looked at it, I was like, okay, I'll have to hit X, A, and B every now and then. Cool, I understand you want me to be invested. You probably don't want me dozing off or something. You want this to feel like a game. I mean, it looks like a show. It really does look like just a straight-up kind of anime-esque thing. So maybe they put these things in. It's like, we have to make them play at some point. So I don't know. It, it doesn't... I imagine we're not going to be there excited about the gameplay. We're there to hear this very cool story. Seemingly cool, anyways. I love how confused people were about this next one. Naruto to Boruto. Nar sorry, I said to Boruto, just like the other game. Sorry, it's called Naruto Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. It's going to be coming this year. This is a collection of Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, 2, 3, 4, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto expansion, probably all together. Now, you're asking yourself, didn't they do this already? They did. I think they're literally reselling the package again as a separate skew because these games probably make them a lot of money and their justification is they added i literally think they added like four people or something uh, it didn't seem like a lot i noticed like two new people and then um i don't even think new story content i think it's just new characters we'll have to see um they kind of alluded that there's that there's like fighting at the uh, very end that might be new story content maybe maybe there'll be something there i don't know if it's New enough, I'll get it. Um, these are old games, and they didn't touch them, so they they did look pretty rough up there compared to because obviously these are compared to everything we've seen prior, and those are old games. I mean, half of them I believe are on P or were PS3 games, and then I want to say Th Ninja Storm Three was a was like around the time PS4 launched, and then Four was on the PS4, um, but I believe they were all on. Um, both PS3 and PS4 at one, at one point. I can't quite remember. But um, these, these are looking pretty old. I can't, I don't know why they didn't at least upscale them for this. So you can at least say we've revitalized some of, some of the cutscenes or something to make them look better. I'm not really sure, but it looks like they're just trying to get away with reselling them for 70 bucks. We'll have to see. Baldur's Gate 3 by Larian Studios, of course, coming August 31st to PS4. No Xbox, that made me very sad. Of course, it's coming to PC. It's actually already in early access. I believe you could, I believe you could be playing it right now. Um, it looks very, very hardcore RPG. It almost looks like they were trying to hide the gameplay a little bit. So people will, like buy it not knowing it's a very hardcore RPG. Uh, but it is a very, this is like you're rolling dice in game and things like this is hardcore stuff. So. If, if that turns you off, do not get this. Wayfinder by Airship Syndicate. There's going to be a beta launching February 28th. This looked, I mean, to be frank, pretty basic. Um, it The combat did look kind of fun, but it, it looked pretty cookie cutter. I didn't get very um, surprised uh, or uh, very excited, I should say. And uh, to put it nicely... Bold move to be launching your beta the same day as Destiny Lightfall. Um, I don't think that's wise at all, even if it's just a beta. Uh, you should definitely delay it. Uh, I assume it's too late now, but I can't imagine being 
uh, the head of the studio and being like, yeah, keep it the 28th. That is a quite the decision, uh, to say the least. Street Fighter 6 by Capcom, June 2nd. Very excited for this game. I'm not a huge Street Fighter guy, but I'm still excited. I can't really tell you why. Uh, I don't know what this is doing different that makes me this excited, but it, I just am not really sure. Uh, they announced Zangief, Lily, and Cammy. Of course, Lily is the only new character out of these two. Zangief, Cammy are long-standing characters in the game. Cammy is lighting Twitter aflame because she is very sexy looking. So, be ready for your favorite cosplayer to cosplay Cammy, I guess. Resident Evil 4 by Capcom, March 24th. Still very excited for this game as this has been built up as one of the best survival horror games ever since I was a little kid and I've never played it. Uh, so this better be good uh, because people say De Dead Space is not as good as this game. So I'll be the judge of that. All right. I'll be the judge of that. Not much else to add. It looks, it looks beautiful, by the way. The RE engine is unreal. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Rocksteady, of course, by Rocksteady, coming May 26th. This is kind of what the brunt of the state of play was about, was this game, this first kind of show off of the title. Um, it looks... Wow. Um, it does not look bad. It just looks incredibly basic to what we all wanted, right? Why do we love the Rock City games, right? Because they nailed feeling like Batman, right? That's why we all liked it. I, I think we can all agree on that, right? We all felt like Batman. We felt like Batman when we dropped down and we beat up a group of bad guys or we stealthily took out each person in the shadows and never got caught or disabled someone's weapons and dropped down and had them try and shoot you and they, couldn't, they, never, they couldn't shoot you. So like they dropped their weapons and like tried to hit you and you beat them up. That's feeling like Batman. And in this trailer, at no point did I look at something and go like, whoa, that looks like something Harley Quinn would do. She literally jumped in the air and took out a minigun and started shooting midair. I was like, OK, OK, uh, <laughs> did we have to give her that to show off? Can we at least have her give, give you use the hand cannon so it at least looks a little more like her? Right. I, I, I don't know. Am I the only one that kind of felt that this was kind of out of nowhere? Um. And uh, it just looks like every kind. I don't know. That's not fair. It doesn't look like every um, games as a service, but it just when they started flying around and stuff, I went, yeah, this looks cool. Like this looks like cool stuff, but I feel like we hold Rocksteady to a higher account than this, right? They're not supposed to. It's not supposed to be like, oh, that just looks like a good game, right? We're kind of supposed to be like, whoa, that's what they've been working on. This looks incredible. We're kind of supposed to be blown away, and it seems at least to me, that no one really was blown away. They seemed like they were like, oh, this looks good. But like, this is rock steady. They just came off of three, some of the best games I think ever made, right? If in in both the Arkham franchise, I know people dislike the, uh, the fourth, uh, the third one, but I think we can all agree those first two games are very solid for the kind of Metroidvania-esque thing that they were going for. In the, especially in the second one where they introduce the open world and these things. And, you, and like I said, no one ever says you don't feel like Batman when you play the game. It, it is a Batman game. Very strange that they picked these four characters specifically. Very strange that they picked the games as a service. I get it. They want to make money, but finally seeding the finished product. It just looks pretty lackluster. I can't wait to get my hands on it because I am praying I'm wrong. Very, very much hoping I'm wrong. But something tells me I'm well, I'm not. We'll have to see. Let me know what you thought. Up next, this is one of the... Um, I don't know much about Bloomhouse, so I'm going to be reading from The Verge on this one. And this is by Andrew Webster. Bloomhouse Productions has made 